Ah, Tekno. Ano ang tagal? Te technical deficiency. Ah, difficulty. Uh, dahil yung ating mga operator ay hindi yata nabit ng extra rice. Uh, at habang inaayos po natin, magtatanong muna tayo ng mga tao kung anong mga natutunan nila ngayong gabi. At, uh, hello, uh, ay, kumain ka na ba? Tara. Hindi kasi, ano, tatanong ko lang, ano ba ang mga so far natutunan mo sa ating uh, programa? Wow! Ang okay. sobrang dami mo. Ang dami. Tulad na? Speechless. Wow. Ikaw naman! <laughs> Yan, yeah, sinang magandang sagot na nabinig ko. Ay, dapat, dapat, dapat. Sige, ano ang mga natutunan mo sa programa natin ngayon? Ang ganda rin. Parang, parang pares kayo natutunan, no? Dahil uh, sobrang ganda ang mga natutunan nyo, mukhang okay na. Diyan pa, meron bang mga mayroong natuto? Ah, dahil nandito sa tapat ka si Almira na naman. Si Almira, si Almira. Si Almira. Favorite, favorite mo yan. Favorite mo siya. Oh, ano mas sabi mo? May natutunan? Ay, Almira, ano natutunan mo ngayon? Sabihin mo na, please. Lagi ka naman. Ay, gusto ko ganyan. Para umabot sa'yo. Wow, napakadami niyo talaga natutunan. Pwede na? Pwede na ko lang. Hands on. 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 Ready na ba ang ating video? Okay, once again, approach! Wala pa rin. Group 3, 4, or approach. students learn their, at their own level of understanding. Oh, so that's teaching the children on a level that they could easily comprehend. Exactly. Uh, those musical concepts are actually learned through singing, chanting, dancing, drama, and playing of percussive instruments.
conceived during the 1920s and the 1930s while he served as music director of the Gunther Schule, a school of music, dance, and gymnastics that he co-founded in Munich. His ideas were based on his beliefs and the importance of rhythm and movement. Orff shared these ideas in a book titled Orff Schulwerk, which was um, revised and then adapted into English as music for children. It was like a hundred years ago. Yes. And what types of musical instruments are typically used? 
So, um, there are um, a lot of musical instruments um, that are typically used in the classroom. Um, here, shown in the... <laughs> yes, thanks for watching. <laughs> So here are the different percussive instruments used in the classroom. So never mind. Um, <laughs> these instruments are, I think we can picture it in our minds, are xylophones, metallophones, um, specifically um, percussive instruments. Okay, so I'm wondering, what is a typical lesson like? Um, although ORF approach, uh, ORF teachers use many books as frameworks, there is no standardized ORF curriculum. ORF teachers design their own lesson plan and adapt it to suit the size of the class and the age of the students. For example, to his eager orchestra. If the teacher selected a song, some students will be chosen as instrument solists, uh, while the rest of the class sings along. Parts may or may not be notated. If notated, it should be simple enough for the students to understand. The teacher then provides students copies of the notes or the grades poster instead. Well, it's good you, that you've asked. Um, since I and my students um, prepared something that hopefully the audience will enjoy. And can I ask also your participation? Oh, yes. It's, it will be an honor. Thank you.
is group number two.